What's up, everybody? This is Brian Funk, aka Afro DJ Mac, and I'm really excited to share with you the Whistle Pack. This is a collaboration with myself and Patches. And what we did a couple weeks ago, we sent out the call to all of you people to send us samples of yourself whistling because we aren't good whistlers. Can't really hold a tune with that, and that's about the only tone I can make. But we sent out the call to you guys, and you sent in some great samples, which we had, which you heard right in the beginning. So your whistle sounds are now part of this sample pack, and we're really excited to share it with you. When you open up the project, you're going to see the samples folder. You're also going to see a little uh, lessons folder. And then you'll get this Ableton Live set, which I've got open right now with all 20 of these instruments loaded into tracks. And then you'll have the actual presets right here. And there's a little bit of about how this pack was made, some of the contributors to the pack, and some words about installation to help you get these inside your own library. And I just want to show you some of these because I think they're really nice. And the, half of them were made by Patches, half of them were made by me, and you can tell who made who by the little uh, patches at the end, or it might say Afro DJ Mac at the end. I think I made Big Metal Robot. <laughs> yeah, I made this crazy sound. So, uh, I mean, you're gonna get like some that sound more like actual whistling, and then you're gonna, like this one, and you're gonna get others that sound like much different. This is more of like a whistling sound. Though we spaced it out a little bit too and had some fun with it. Got this bubble sound. Space dust. And I know when I made my own collection, I tried to have fun with the names just to get you thinking a little more with your imagination than with technical terms like filter cutoff and, you know, delay amount. Now this one, I love that Patch has made. It's got some whistling sounds, but it's also layered in with a voice. So on one of these particular samples that was given to us, there was some talking on it. And they used the talking, which I thought was pretty cool. And uh, let's see. This is a pretty wild one. You got all kinds of crazy controls. And all the controls are different too, which is kind of fun. So like each one of these instruments is its own unique thing. Just take you through a couple more here. Just playing these on the push right now. This one was made from Pierce's teapot. Pierce's from Patches, one of the guys, Dan and Pierce. You can hear my conversation with them on the Music Production Podcast. Please check that out. It's a great episode. Those guys are a lot of fun. The micro cassette organ. They. Some of these were recorded on um, some pretty interesting ways. I know one of them was sent on a micro cassette, and I I got a lot of mileage out of those sounds myself personally. Just a really cool character. This one has like a shaker built into it. You can kind of pan that out, give it a little ambience, turn it up or down. A lot of life to this sound. This is just. I'm just holding down two notes right now, playing with some knobs. We got the melted piano, which is one of my favorites, actually. It's just so dirty and lo-fi. Beautiful sound, just noisy. I made some percussion sounds. So you can do like um, some little like glitchy percussion stuff to fill in for some of your music. The Dimension Traveler. There's a stutter going on in here too, which you have some control over. This would be a nice one for, I think like noise and transitions and stuff like that. Another nice sound. It's a nice delay in there. Another bubble control. It's got this like bubbling sound. It's also got a fuzzy control you can play around with and a reverb. Very breathy sound here. You can really hear the sound of the whistling.
Really cool sound there. And I hope you get an idea. There's a lot of diversity in here. This is a very high pitched one, but you can play it down lower. A little more um, whistly sound. This was actually made from a Chinese ocarina. So this is one of the ones I created. And you can hear the character of the ocarina itself. And I put in some things to give you a little fun, such as tremolo. And dial that back. You got reverb. You also got some noise. And you can color the noise. Or you can keep it really nice and pure, sounding like a really cool ocarina instrument. Really cool sound there. This is the Parm Parm organ. <laughs> But I'm not sure what that means. That's patches for you. And this is uh, called the Broken Mallets. One I really like too, quite a bit. Always love mallet sounds. And this one, I think, just makes nice use of some um, delay. And I've also got this random glitch effect going on, which you're going to actually have to hit play on your transport to hear because it's using a beat repeat. And now you can hear. There's like these kind of weird glitches going on as I play. So I think that one's really cool. Very fun sound, the broken mallets. What's, what I consider broken about it is the glitch effect. But just remember, you're not going to hear the glitch until you press play on the transport. Because it's making use of a beat repeat effect. A lot of these patches are multi-layered. There's lots of different um, stuff going on. So you might want to open them up, check them out. I think the um, actual construction of these was really well thought out, if I don't mind saying. And Patches really did a great job with these. Now this is one I called uh, birds, because I was trying to make like uh, bird chirping sounds. I did a live video stream in which I'm showing you the making of some of these anyway. And this was one of them. I was sitting outside and there were birds around and I was trying to mimic those sounds of those birds. Um, so maybe you think that sounds like them. You can change the species of birds by playing with this transpose control. That's just, you know, we can change the size of the birds, like how big the room is. And then I've got one called bird droppings, which you're going to hear. He's like kind of decaying pitches. Again, that's done with a beat repeat. And you get those there. Planet distance. So let's turn this thing up and you get some craziness going on here with the panning and some modulation. We got a forest amount, which is essentially just a reverb and a fog. Which sounds pretty cool too, I think. Um, this is more just kind of like for effect, so you're not really going to play melodies on this. But I think they can be really useful for just some cool effects, you know. If you need to make something that sounds like uh, laser beams or birds coming at you from the forest. So that's the pack, really. Um, I think it came out awesome. It was such a pleasure working with Patches. The guys are great. They do such awesome work, too. You got to check them out and see what's going on in their page, patches.zone. And please check out my page, afrodjmag.com, and download this pack. It's free. It's free for you. Please um, make some sounds with it, make some music. I want to thank all the contributors. You can see them down right here on the lessons over there. And um, this has been a really fun project. I want to thank you, the contributors. I want to thank Patches. And I hope you enjoy this very exciting whistle pack. Take care.